Hey, this is Brett Buetter at Brett Bum on Twitter and YouTube, and we're walking through how to use the Easing Slider plugin with WordPress. In this case, we're about to upload some bulk images to be placed in the slider, but first we need to take a look at where we are. We're in the Easing Slider, and we have some existing images already running in our slider. We need to remove these and replace them with the new images. To do that, select the source links for each of the images, and then save uh, an update, and it will remove the images. And now and you'll see that image drop off. Now in this case, I want to upload five new images. So I'm going to hit the Upload Image button. I'm going to select Files, and I'm going in to a list of images. Now, here's a, a, a tip for saving some time. I've actually named these images uh, with a number to put them in order, but also with the names that I want to be in there and the titles of these images. So I'm saving myself some time later. I'm going to select all five images all at once and hit open to start uploading them. And now you'll see it uh, going into uh, the WordPress media library one at a time. Once all five are in and all the crunching is done, I want to show them one at a time because my file name has now become my title. I also want to copy that and paste it as my alternate text for people that that can't see images or using a reader or all sorts of different reasons why they might need that. Uh, and I'm going to repeat that step for each one of these. Almost done, doing my third one. Got two to go. I'll help for a whole bunch of other reasons as well. SEO has a little bit of benefit here. Um, if you're doing websites in the UK, uh, some of this is even required by law. Okay, so I've got them all set. And I'm going to uh, quickly uh, capture the links where these images are going as well. And I can see what that link is going to be right here. So this is what the link's going to look like. I'm going to capture each of the actual file names in a quick notepad list. That's just in case something goes wrong when I hit save. It's uh, more of a precaution so I don't have to do more digging or double work later. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to save all changes. Quickly, uh, I can see the typical path of when I loaded this up before. The uh, year and date will change this time around. So I'm going to copy this once, paste that image path in here, but I'm going to change because I'm a couple months down the road. So here's my generic path that I'll be using for the next few of these that we've got. And I'm going to, the image link is actually not, that's going to, this would be the link that uh, when somebody clicks on the image, it would take them to uh, this particular item. I'm going to remove the next couple. Okay, so I have all my new uh, image paths load, loaded in. The destination link, that'll be the link that people will be taken to when they click on these future images. I'm going to save it, and you're going to see that these images will swap out. So save changes. It's taken the year. Let's double check our media library just in case I got that slightly off. So I'm troubleshooting now. The images didn't show up, so I'm going to go into the media library, double check my paths. Okay, so here are the images. They did get loaded in. Let's double check the URL of that image. We know they're there. Paths, paths should look like this. I take a step back and check the first one. And then I'll try to figure out where I went wrong in my shortcut. Here's the first one. That's what the path should be. This is the path I used. We can see that there is a slight difference. Ah, I shortened the month. There should be a zero before the month. So that's where I've made a quick mistake. So each month is zero one. Yep, that's easy to fix. So I just need to put a zero for the month of January. And we can see that our other image see that our other hit save changes one more time one two three four and five that's all looking good we'll go to the home page real quick and there we have it there's our slideshow running on the site if anybody there we go so if somebody clicks on that link it takes them to our issues page which is the destination link that we previously mentioned this is uh, just a place on this particular site where we have uh, an e-reader where people can read the issue online uh, or order it or do more through a service called Zinio. And
And that's it. That's how to add images to the eZine slider. Thank you.